Hey guys, welcome to my channel again. So tomorrow morning, I am finally going in and I'm going to get the first bubble on balloon. So, you know, I'm excited. I'm a little bit nervous. But I'm looking forward to telling you guys what it's like. I'm really hoping that I can swallow the balloon um, easily. Some of the videos I watched, it did look a little painful or some people kind of psyched themselves up mentally, which made it difficult for them to swallow and get it down. So, you know, I'm really gonna try to be positive and just turn this into a really awesome experience and exactly what I need and what I'm looking for and you know my jump start on the rest of my fitness journey so I am going to be restricted at least for the first day to only liquids is what they told me I do need to double check with them and see if I can have soup or if it's only clear liquids like I've seen in one video at least until my stomach gets settled they said for my last supper of course I chose a scrumptious pizza Okay, so I just wanted to give everyone a quick update. I just finished getting the first balloon inserted and it went, honestly, I think really well. I mean, the whole procedure probably took 10 minutes, if that. And really what took the longest was, you know, they walked me into the room, put me in front of the x-ray, had a you know gown um not that i had to take my clothes off underneath but put me in a gown and had me stand in front of their x-ray machine they handed me a cotton swab with alcohol on it which apparently if you're feeling nauseous during the procedure you can sniff the swab and it will help with that but i didn't really need it or use it and then they handed me a big glass of water um, after that, they just opened up the package, pulled out the capsule with the long catheter on it, and he dunked it in water. And I just, you know, laid my head back, opened my mouth, he placed it on the back of my tongue, and I just took a huge gulp of water. And that was it. I just took one big gulp of water and we went from my mouth down into my throat. I just continued to take continuous sips of water, just drink water really for about 30 seconds and it you can feel it kind of go down and after that you can just kind of feel the catheter moving um, which that is what I was the most worried about was the catheter um, like making hanging out of my throat or being in my throat making me feel like I needed to gag but I didn't really have that problem uh, kind of just feels like a hair is stuck in your throat or something like that and the biggest thing that they told me to make sure that I did or really didn't do was bite the catheter because it's such a thin um, fragile tube you don't want to bite it and put a you know dent in it to where they can't inflate it with gas or push the water through to pop it off the balloon whenever you're done so that's really what I was the most was nervous about was making sure I didn't bite it because I didn't want to spend the rest of my day in a surgical unit getting an endoscopy so that they could reach down and pull it out because you know I messed up the catheter which if you're just careful it's it's not hard to not bite it I was just didn't want the rest of my day to go very differently than I had planned um, but other than that um, once you swallow it sits in your stomach and it takes you know a minute or two maybe and they're making sure that the gastric juices dissolve that capsule they have a machine that the catheter is hooked to and they can read the pressure on the catheter so they can tell the difference between the pressure when the capsule 
and everything is squished together. And then once it dissolves, um, it, it changes the pressure because you got rid of a barrier. And once they see that pressure change and they know that it's gone, then they start to inflate it and they inflate it up to a certain pressure. They know what it needs to be at that the balloon is fully inflated. And the whole time that they're watching it in front of the x-ray, and then they took one final x-ray and let me look at it. Um, this, you know, was after they had taken the, um, the catheter out. So they inflate your balloon and if any of you are curious on how they get it out it's very simple they take a little syringe full of water put it up on the catheter squeeze the water in and it just pops off the balloon and then they pull it out and when they were pulling it out was probably the only time my gag reflex was even slightly activated just at that last second like <laughs> and then it's gone, you know, because it's out of your mouth and it's totally fine. Um, as far as how it feels, I can feel something in there and it's not painful. It's a little uncomfortable. It, it does feel like moving, like this sensation that I am feeling is up at the top. I can tell and kind of maybe like side to side. So I don't know if that is it floating around and touching my stomach or if my stomach is just confused and cramping maybe it thinks that it's food that it needs to push around I, I don't really know um, what would cause that I of course everything I've read is that it's very normal um, so we will see how the rest of the day goes I am going to be sticking to liquids today um, maybe soup later on for dinner with you know really soft vegetables nothing nothing too crazy um, I already have a protein shake in my bag um, so yeah, I'm about to head to work. I'll drink it on the way and uh, you know, see how it goes. But yeah, I'm excited. I think it went well. I go back in two weeks for my second balloon. And that is something that this doctor's office does differently. Um, a lot of the material that you read uh, online or even the material that they gave me in the office says that I will get the balloon inserted once a month. They want me to have the second balloon inserted in two weeks and then three weeks after that I'll get the third balloon. And they just do that to maximize the length of time that I have all three in just to help maximize your weight loss, which I'm fine with, you know, if I did not want to get the third balloon at three weeks, you know, technically in five weeks, but three weeks after my next visit, you know, I could ask them to wait at the end of the day, as long as everything's out by six months, like you're good to go. Um, that's really the biggest hard date in there at six months you need to get them taken out because if you don't get them taken out they can deflate and if they do start to move through your intestines it will cause an obstruction which is very dangerous um, so that is really the only date that six months from September 4th you know give or take one day maybe I need to be at you know outpatient surgery which I'm saying surgery and it sounds scary but all it is is they're going to put me under a light anesthetic just so that they could put an endoscopy down my throat without me gagging basically and it has a little claw and they're just gonna reach down grab it with the claw it's deflated take it out so it's really not a big deal for that either but you just don't want it to have deflated before that and having started to move through your intestines um so yeah i'll keep you guys updated thanks for watching